Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. That's a black and white picture I took of the turbine. Isn't that pretty? Um, against the clouds. What a beautiful landscape. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Proverbs 8 verse 17. It says, search and you will find. Here's my poem. Oh, it was Proverbs 8.17 says, I love all who love me. Those who search will surely find me. So here's my poem. When you seek the Lord with all your heart, you will find him. He will stay and never depart. He loves all those who love faithfully, him faithfully and seek him. He shows himself to them and grants them peace. Whenever you hunger for knowing Jesus, you will know that he considers you very precious. Search and you will find. Ask and it will be given. If you follow his will, you'll have a taste of heaven. Here's my essay. Have you ever lost something and had a hard time finding it? Many times I struggle to remember where I put something. I'm usually a very organized person, but when I get overwhelmed with busyness and lack of sleep, I fail to have a mind that is clear and focused. The Bible tells us that God is love and that He loves all of us. Proverbs 8.17 gives us more reassurance that when we search or seek Him, He will show Himself to us. Though God loves us unconditionally, He also rewards those who faithfully loves Him and manifest their devotion by hungering for Him and having a personal relationship with Him and the people around them. How many times did we fail to see the Lord's will in our lives because we were so busy chasing other things instead of seeking Him? Prayer. Lord, help me prioritize You first in all that I do. Reflection. How come some believers struggle knowing their purpose in life? I did struggle for so many years because I did not seek God's Word. So I um, was focused on all the pleasures that I can get, all the achievements I can, I can um, reach, and all the ambitions that I had in my life. So then I struggled actually knowing the purpose in my life because after a while, even though I was chasing so many dreams and, um, and um, having many, many different kinds of uh, profession, I still felt empty. That's because I did not know that God is the only one who can complete me. So... That's one of the reasons why a lot of uh, some some believers struggle with knowing their purpose because they don't they don't seek him they don't read the Bible they don't um, have a personal relationship with God don't have a close relationship with any believer they live an isolated life so the Bible tells us that we are supposed to preach the good news. How can we preach the good news if we don't know the good news? So that's the reason why a lot of people do not know their purpose in life is because they do not um, feed on God's Word. They do not meditate on it day and night as Joshua uh, would say in, in the book of Joshua. So when we meditate on it day and night, God will reveal to us our general purpose and our personal individual purpose that he has for us. And, um, well, God wants us to all preach the good news and make disciples of all nations. That's, that's for everybody. So that alone, if you know that, then you know what your purpose is. But if you don't know that, then... Um, you should probably ask yourself if you're a Christian whether you are really a Christian because um, in James it says that you cannot just be hearers of the word but also doers of the word. So if you don't do what the word says and you just hear it and it doesn't uh, 
bear any uh, change in you, then there will be no fruit in your life. So thanks for watching, and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. I invite you to search and seek the Lord so that you will find Him. God loves you so much, and so do I.